So the first trophy we will present is the Shireen Trophy. Um, so this one is awarded to the owner of the first middleweight or heavyweight horse to successfully complete the Tom Kulti event that has the most Kulti buckles. And that goes to... And that goes to Stella Harbison with Willow Star Bay Seal. trophy lives permanently at the Longreach Hall of Fame. Uh, the trophy it was first presented at one of the early quilty events in Newbridge. Um, it's the name of the stud owner in participation with the best and she was stump and is awarded to the first registered Arabian or derivative to successfully complete the quilty. And I've lost my piece of paper again. No, the name on it. And I can't remember what it was. Wait, what? Oh, oh, my, <laughs> my paper's gone missing. What did it have? It's not behind you? No. No, but it was the. Which is Stella Harbison and oh. Jessica with um, <laughs> Willis. <laughs> Willis Star Bay Seal and. I'm just going to have socks because I can't remember the actual name. Pat Slater Cup. Um, so this one is the first 10 horses across the line regardless of weight division. Um, and they are panelled by a judge of five judges. Um, and they are also assessed on lameness and the following criteria of freedom of movement, soundness, um, impulsion, presence and appearance and overall presentation. And that goes to Marbling Galaxy by <laughs> judging it and they're pretty big in, in the endurance world so this is pretty special to me and um, I just really love my horse and I also wish I wrote down a thank you list like Chris did because I didn't say thank you to my mum <laughs> <laughs> who does everything for me and I couldn't agree with it. Have 
kindly um, donated a saddle for the winner of the Pat Slater Cup. I asked to be allowed to present this prize. It's not one of the AEA awards. Um, and I asked to do it because it's an award I won in 2018. And I'm, I'm so proud to be able to share it with the person that won it this year. Last across the line, Abby, Abby Irvine. team and that was called Godless <laughs> with Norma Radnay, Waddle Tree Echo, Ian Symington, Shorten Natal, Jane Radnay, Steel Coffee Regent, Tegan Symington, Jura Park Royal Sun. Thank you. 
so much for doing such a great job for looking after each other so well it is the most awesome family sport we've loved having it um, even though it's just a few of the interstate competitors come and um, officials but we've loved having you here and we've loved being able to talk to you guys as well okay. <laughs> so it's been and i don't know how many pictures of my green ass you've got but <laughs> <laughs> um, it's um a, a great privilege to be involved in a sport where people care about their horses so much. To know that when we talk to you guys, we've had this now decades of developing a sport where people really look after their horses, you know your horses. The people that come to endurance and get involved have no concept until they come of how much knowledge you have about your horses and how you make that work for you so that your horse can do 160 kilometres and then come out the next day and look absolutely in awesome and not only be able to um, travel 160 kilometers but all the equestrianism that you showed us today with, the, with your workouts some spectacular workouts some that need a little more work than others but still um, it's really important to see how well you look after your horse and what a unit you are and we said partnership patience we had a fair bit of that yesterday and a fair bit of persistence and some disappointments as well i'm not sure that some how does that come under pissed off maybe <laughs> So I'm very um, sorry for those of you that didn't actually get to um, get a buckle, but I tell you what, you deserved all our accolades because you looked after yourselves and your horses the best you could. Um, we had one horse that tied up, um, we had a heart rate bed out, we had unfortunately a sore back, and the other eliminations were for reasons of basically um, bad luck, so lamenses. So that means that, that you looked after your horses absolutely perfectly, and sometimes things go wrong. So I think that's a tremendous job. We had a fantastic vet hospital there that didn't see, I don't think there was any horse when you were in there whatsoever. Like not, not a single horse went by. So well done to everybody for doing such a good job looking after them. The other thing that was always notable, and um, it, it is an endurance family, but it's how well you look after each other. So we saw people who were desperately disappointed that their ride didn't continue, but then came and helped everybody else. So we saw all of that sort of stuff. It just goes round. It, it is this kind of rolling wave of just um, care and kindness, and we love that. So that's really important. Rightio, so fantastic workouts this morning. The horses look awesome. We have um, lots and lots of nice sponsors who gave um, the, all the rugs and things that we presented today, and we've also got some fabulous sponsors for these um, prizes as well. So, am I doing this in order? This order that you presented that, to me? Yeah. Yes, so. righty oak. Like we had one junior rider, and now I'm quite hopeful because we have been having a, a fairly good breeding program in the <laughs> state. So, we have quite a few new little juniors coming. I'm pretty hopeful that the next um, WA Quilty will have a huge number of um, uh, juniors riding. Those of you that know me fairly well, and I suspect it's most of you, and I've seen most of you since um, you were not very big for a lot of you people, people like 
um, uh, even their interstate friends. I've seen them a lot, a lot over a long, lot of years, and it's pretty impressive to see how you've um, come on with all your sport and, and represented Australia, uh, represented Australia at the highest level, and uh, uh, here. So that everything can happen. It all starts at the beginning, but. Even if there's only a few people come to be part of the best condition, if the horse is not worthy of getting that award, it doesn't get it. Abby Rose, your horse looked awesome. He has qualified three people for um, this quilty. This is his fourth 160. He still looked an absolute picture and he's looked after him beautifully. Congratulations. Um, and he's This rug is the Eastern Hills Trail and Endurance Riders Club. Um, Mandy, did you want to come up and present that? Before you go, the, the day's still young. Um, Abby, you've also been awarded the Sterling Shields Perpetual Trophy for Best Condition Junior um, and the Replica Cup. This is in memory of Sterling Shields, who was a Queensland Junior Insurance <coughs> Rider, and his mum and dad wanted this trophy to perpetuate his memory. So that's awesome. All right. So in the best conditioned um, life uh, competition, uh, four horses proceeded to the. Uh, to the <laughs> I've got someone else's teeth in, I think. Uh, so <laughs> proceeded to the workouts and they looked amazing. Um, the Shire of Polly is sponsoring this one. Dale, would you like to come forward? Oh, sorry, Alison. Oh, I've got Anne's teeth in. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this run is being awarded to the best condition lightweight horse, Marvin Galaxy, with much of honor. the heavier weights are uh, less likely to be successful at, at this level and I guess there's a lot of work that um, needs to be done by those horses. Um, very interesting to see how well those horses perform for everybody today so congratulations to the riders. The best conditioned heavyweight horse is Amakaya Kalahari with my Kitsuki. Yeah. 
Okay. So, South 32 Walsey Illumina sponsored the best condition middleweight rug. Um, again, some awesome horses, some lovely workouts. Thank you very much to the riders. The best condition middleweight horse is Minton East, torso ridden by yeah. Jessica. And this is the, for the middleweight one. 39. 
just hangs around and smiles and has fun. Largely, that was my weekend, so thank you very much. Um, I, I said it earlier, you guys are a wonderful bunch of folk. Uh, it's been an absolute pleasure being here. Really loved it. Thank you. celebrations to a close. Um, hopefully we'll see all of you at dinner tonight. Uh, I think there are a couple of extra tickets available if anybody would like to purchase. Please see Jo Van Ribbon <laughs> or Kylie. <laughs> um, thank you very much everybody for attending the TQ21. It's been a wonderful event. Um, I think it's just run really smoothly and it's just had a really wonderful atmosphere and feeling. Um, if you haven't got a logbook, um, but, and yeah, the, 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 what, what can I say? Now? They're the bad out logbooks, so come and get them um, after this. Thank you. Can I see Stella, please, and the uh, young lady who won the Pat Slater Cup, please? Um, the, the free bus, um, complimentary bus service from here to the Collie Miners Institute is leaving here at 5.15. So if you don't want to drive and you want to have a few drinks, 
um, please make yourself um, available at that service. What else? Yeah, oh, right. Um, yeah, probably just at the front page. Look for a bus. <laughs> <laughs>